Hi, I'm Tristan from Easy Drone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to pass FAA's Part 107 Small UAV Knowledge Test required to become a commercial drone pilot in just two days, and I'm going to do it myself. I just started running the Easy Drone website and channel full time, and I thought now is a better time than ever to get my commercial pilot's license. And I know commercial drone pilot sounds fancy, but it's just a permit to sell your drone work. So I spent about half an hour researching and this is the plan I've came up with. So on this page right here, it goes over everything you need to be a small UAV commercial operator. The federal regulation means you have to pass that part 107 to get your remote pilot certificate and you gotta register your drone with the FAA. The state I'm in, Minnesota, it also requires that obviously you have to register your drone with the FAA, but you also have to obtain insurance on your drone and you have to have a license that's 30 bucks to convert, uh, to use your drone for commercial purposes. So that's the overview of everything. For the remote pilot certification itself, they have a page. I'll put all these links in the video description. So it walks you through how to pass the part 107. So you have to learn the rules first and the main study guide I'm going to be using to learn everything is the FAA's study guide for this. It's free, it's 88 pages long, it should cover everything you need to know. And once I think I know everything, I'm going to use a couple free practice tests. Pilotinstitute.com has one, and UAV Ground School has a practice test. And that's just going to be to try to help myself find areas that I'm not strong in, so I can go back to the study guide and study that more. I know all the basic drone laws. I've been flying drones recreationally for a couple of years, so I'm hoping that it's not going to be too hard and I'll actually pass. Now it's all down to study. I'll walk you through how the study goes. Obviously, like I said, I'm going to focus on the study guide and a couple of practice tests. It's now Thursday, three days in the future. I wasn't able to take my test in two days because you had to schedule it two days in advance. On Tuesday afternoon, I scheduled it for Thursday. I showed up at 9.30 a.m. on Thursday and I was done with my test by 10 o'clock. It took me less than a half hour to complete the test. They said it was the fastest they'd ever seen anybody do it. The FAA has made the part 107 test a lot easier and there's no need to pay for anything. You can find everything you need online I was able to get everything done in two days with less than 10 hours of studying. Now, I'm not going to try to teach you everything I learned. I definitely deviated from my study plan quite a bit. So instead of trying to teach you, let me just show you where I found my material so that you can go through, you can do the same exact process as me, and you can also pass easily. So I started off at the study guide. Now, the study guide's unnecessary. You don't need to read through the entire study guide. There's a lot of information on there that is not going to be used on the test whatsoever. The original study guide was from four years ago. They have definitely updated the test since then. I would read through the part 107 rules. It's not that much. It will probably take about um, 10 minutes to read through them, but those are the basic part 107 rules. However, it's not a part 107 test technically. It's a UAV test that also includes part 107. In my opinion, actual part 107 rules were less than the 25%, definitely less than the 25% that um, they say is going to be on the test. From my experience to just taking the test today, sectional charts were over 25% of the test. There's definitely part 107 questions on the test, but it is not a part 107 test. It's a small UAV test. So. This is the list of things that are supposed to be on the test and their relative percentage. I found this to be a bit different. When I took the test, I found that there were three main sections on the chart. There were part 107 rules, there were sectionals, and there were also airspace. Those three main topics probably took 40 out of the 60 questions in the test. In the remaining 20, there were a couple simple ones. Um, like, this is not a question on the test, but this is very similar to the question. What does pitch do when you're trying to um, maneuver an aircraft or something like that? In the remaining 20 questions, there were also some questions more relating to manned aircraft than small UAV, such as airport operations. It's not something you need to learn. You will pass if you learn the three main categories of Part 107 regulations, airspace, and sectionals. 
But if you want to get the highest score possible, I definitely study airport operations. I looked over it. I was able to answer all the questions. So it's not something that you definitely need to study hard, but it's something you should look at. So like I previously mentioned, I deviated from my study plan. I was originally intending just to use the free study guide, but I found that YouTube videos narrowed that down to what was actually needed for the test. And then here is my list of YouTube videos that you will actually need to pass your part 107 test. There are lots of study guides you can pay for to take the part 107 test, but they're not necessary. However, it's just not necessary. It's definitely nice, but if you don't have the money to spend, I have already compiled everything you need to know into the YouTube videos that are in the video's description. If you go through these videos, you will be well prepared to get a really good score on the test. I've mentioned this already, but the test is really easy. If there's something you have no idea about, there's only three answers. You can get a fairly good guess even if you have no idea what the question is. First of all, there's an hour and a half long guide of everything. There's tons of different chapters in here. Fair warning, he talks really, really slow. I definitely speed it up to one and a half times at least. This will give you an overview of everything you need to know, except for um, the new regulations that came out in April of 2021. This was released in December 4th of 2020. It's not going to have those in there. Sectionals comprise so much of the exam, it's something I myself struggled with since it's not very intuitive and I had no ex prior experience with it. So this was a very helpful video, just a basic how to read a sectional chart. It's about 20 minutes long. He goes over all the main things you're going to need. And then this video, five tricky sectional chart questions, goes over some of the questions similar to the ones you're actually going to encounter on the exam. It'll get you familiar with even a couple charts that are used on the exam by UAV coach. And then the another thing that's in those random questions, but it is a good solid like three to five questions to the exam is reading weather reports. So reading weather reports, it's the only thing that actually requires a bit of memorization. You have to know what these numbers mean. You have to know that this refers to the date for the first two and the time. So that's worth taking a look at as well. So other than sectionals and basic part 107 rules, you have airspace. Air airspace is a really big chunk of the test something you're going to want to be very comfortable with. You're going to want to know the difference between the class B, class A, E, C, and G airspaces, as well as uh, D airspace. There's a ton of different airspaces, what happens when they overlap, stuff like that. Um, they're going to appear in your sectional charts as well as just normal questions on the exam. So airspace is a huge one. This video, as well as the original hour and a half long video should cover a lot of airspace. So like I previously mentioned, the FAA has definitely changed the exam in the last year. It's got a lot easier, and they've included rules on flying over people, flying at night, and also remote ID. For flying at night, flying over people, and remote ID, this video is amazing. It explains everything you need to know in a very detailed, very specific method. The last video that I used was um, this one. It kind of did a brief overview of everything from how to schedule your exam. It goes over some sectional charts, weather reports, and then it also throws in a couple of the weird ones like airport operations, aeronautical decision making, stuff that's definitely going to be on your exam but is not going to comprise the majority of it. Finally, there was something on a couple questions of the exam that did not come up anywhere else on the internet when I was looking for it, and it is ADSB out. To put it simply, ADSB for aircraft is what remote ID is going to be for drones. ADSB and drones have nothing to do with each other. They don't mix at all. So yeah, I was able to pass my part 107 exam very quickly, very easily, in under 30 minutes. I got a score of 83%. There, I could have definitely got a higher score if I spent more time studying some of the less related questions, such as manned airport operations, stuff like that. However, questions like that, I'm never going to need to know in my drone piloting career. I'm never going to be operating at an airport trying to land on the airstrip, so that's just not something I need to know. Personally, I did not feel like that's important for me to study. I did all my studying. I found all these resources in under 10 hours. If I was to learn it all again and I had all these videos singled out, you can do this in easily four hours of studying. The test itself is really easy. There's only three answers to pick from. They're very straightforward. I did not come across any questions that tried to trick me. 
Roughly 20 questions out of the 40 in the exam were gimmies. They were really easy. It was really obvious. All of the others were exam questions. They didn't try to trick you, but you needed to know the material to pass them. Thanks for watching. I used the information in this video to pass my part 107 exam in less than two days. And with the information in this video, you should be able to sit down, watch these YouTube videos in less than five hours and pass your part 107 exam even in a single day. Comment any questions you have, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Tell me how your test goes and make sure to like and subscribe. All the links are in the description. Bye.